Hi, I'm Ariana with Zilani Glass. Lead is an amazing material. With its malleability and low melting point, it's used in various applications. That's why we use it in stained glass. Lead is also toxic. We've partnered with Cascade Metals to provide general safety tips when working with this extraordinary element. Lead safety regulations vary depending on where you live and what you do. We encourage you to look into specifics for your region. Lead can enter your body by inhaling lead dust, fumes, or by ingestion. The most accurate way to track the amount of lead in your body is to take a blood test. For people who work with stained glass, testing your lead levels regularly can help track exposure. Ideally, get a base level before you start so you have something to compare it to. PPE or personal protective equipment can range from full Tyvek suits and respirators to coveralls, aprons, and disposable gloves. For more industrial projects, containment units, air scrubbers, and fume hoods are necessary. One of the highest risks of lead exposure is during removal and taking apart old leaded windows, where lead particles can become airborne and inhaled or tracked onto other surfaces and clothing. To avoid being exposed to lead, be aware of where it's been and where it's going. For example, touching a light switch, opening a doorknob, or using a phone. Lead contamination can happen easily, so be aware of exposure to your skin or clothing and when handling tools or equipment so you don't track lead out of your work environment into other places. Most people are exposed to lead over long periods of time while building or glazing a window. It gets on your hands and then transfers into your mouth through eating, drinking, or smoking. Wearing gloves limits the amount of lead that gets on your skin. As you build, using a manual knife rather than a saw reduces the amount and size of lead particles that are dispersed into the work area. Most solder contains lead, so wearing a respirator to avoid inhalation is key. Using a fan or fume hood is also helpful. Remember to always solder in a well-ventilated area and get your respirator fit tested once a year. When restoring old windows, take apart panels underwater to keep the lead oxide contained. Wet dismantling doesn't end when you've taken apart your final piece. Dispose of the water properly by using a water filtration system or by having a certified company dispose of it for you. Dry dismantling requires containment and PPE. Safely disposing lead you don't need is critical. Make sure old and new lead are put in separate containers with lids and clearly label the contents. If filling your container happens over the course of a few days, wet the contents periodically so the dust doesn't become airborne. Check with your local regulators to see who can safely take it. If this seems overwhelming, start with these simple ways you can be safe. Wash your hands with industrial soap at the end of each task. Don't eat or drink where you work. And have a dedicated pair of work shoes. There is a reason lead has been used in stained glass fabrication for hundreds of years. When used safely, there is no substitute for this versatile metal with a myriad of profiles and infinite design possibilities. I hope these tips were helpful. If you have questions about stained glass safety, feel free to reach out to me. If you have questions specifically about lead, contact your local regulator. This is Ariana Macau with Zilani Glass, where we encourage everyone to be safe, have fun, and do excellent work.